when you think of Buffalo, the team, who has the most pressure on them right now? I had a, I, I went I, I went a few different directions, but then when I thought about it some more, I looked at somebody just said it straight up. Drew Fisher, my man. To me, this this person right here has the most pressure on him. We've built a very good team. We've built a very competitive team. Building the team, that's Bean. Bean has been building this team. The pressure is strictly on Sean McDermott. Strictly on Sean McDermott. Two years now, you've been bounced out by the Kansas City Chiefs. Two years now. And the last, the last time you got bounced out, it was on controversy. Like, you can't, you can't be bounced out of the playoffs on controversy. And this is not controversy from the refs and the refs made a controversy. No, this is controversy from within your camp. Within your camp. The pressure is all on McDermott. And he's got to make it happen. And the and thing is, it's always Super Bowl or bust, no matter what, how you look at it. But the, the hump he's got to get over. He's got two humps to get over. Everybody's catching up to you as in the AFC. There's no question about it. The AFC is a freaking gauntlet. Like, you got to get out of that, but you've got to win your division. But you've got to be able to get over Kansas City. You've got to beat them. You've got to beat Andy Reid. You cannot, we can't have you making any more excuses of looking at the tape and I got to make sure and look at the. You've got to get over the hump by beating Kansas City. The pressure is on McDermott. No more excuses, man. Brian Dable is gone. Maybe there were some philosophical issues between the two of you guys. That's my opinion. I just feel it. I feel like Dable had some things he liked to do. McDermott was like, oh, I'm not really liking that. So Dable's gone now. You got Aaron, you brought back Aaron Cromer that specializes in getting back that run, maybe more zone defense, excuse me, zone offense, zone running. Maybe this is where we get our running back, and I'm still, I'm still team running back, by the way. But the freaking pressure squarely is on McDermott. How do you guys feel? Who is the pressure on? 